I hope you enjoy our videos. If so, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Now, on to the video. Tornado Facts for Kids One of the most severe weather events that can occur is a tornado. What exactly are tornadoes? Where are tornadoes likely to occur? Why do tornadoes form? Do you have as many inquiries about tornadoes as we do? If so, come along as we study everything there is to know about tornadoes. Let's start with some interesting information to learn what tornadoes are, where they are most likely to occur, and why they even exist. Where do tornadoes come from? Thunderstorms can produce tornadoes. However, a thunderstorm alone will not cause a tornado. They only occur when there is a shift in temperature, wind speed, or direction during a powerful thunderstorm. There is a chance that a tornado could emerge given these circumstances. Tornadoes are made up of really fast spinning tubes of air that eventually form into a funnel. The clouds in the sky above will be connected to the ground down below by this structure. Even though there have been reports of tornadoes in every state in the U.S., Tornado Alley is where many of them originate. Iowa, Kansas, South Dakota, Oklahoma, and Nebraska are all part of this region of the Midwest, which stretches from Texas to Ohio. These states are in the path of both cool air coming from the Rocky Mountains and warm, humid air coming from the Gulf of Mexico. Tornadoes are frequently created when the warm and cool air streams collide. What time of year is a tornado most likely to occur? Although storms can occur at any time of the year, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas experience tornado season from late May to early June. Tornadoes are more likely to form in June or July in North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota. So which location in America tends to have the most tornadoes? That would be Weld County in Colorado. This county lies just north of the Denver metro area and has tallied 262 tornadoes between 1950 to 2016, which is an average of roughly four tornadoes each year. How fast can a tornado's winds get? The Fujita scale is used to gauge tornado activity. The Fujita scale, which ranges from F0 to F5, rates the intensity of tornadoes. F0 tornadoes are weak and, at worst, do little to no damage. F5 tornadoes are said to be extremely destructive and capable of wreaking havoc. The wind speed of F0 tornadoes can reach 65 miles per hour. That speed can seem to be very fast, and it is. However, the extremely powerful tornado will have wind speeds that can reach all the way up to 300 miles per hour. The fastest tornado by wind speed is by far the 1999 Bridge Creek Moore tornado which occurred in Oklahoma with a maximum wind speed of 324 miles per hour. What was the largest tornado? The 2013 El Reno tornado in Oklahoma had a debris field which spanned 2.6 miles from one side to the other. Sometimes they spin so fast that buildings, trees and other objects can be broke apart and thrown around. Can a tornado occur over water? The answer is, yes. A tornado is referred to as a water spout when it occurs above water, such as the ocean or another body of water. It is possible for a tornado to originate over water or to migrate from land to water. There are several different names for tornadoes. They can also be called cyclones, funnels, and twisters. How can you tell when a tornado may be coming? The most violent tornadoes come from very powerful thunderstorms called supercells. This is the name scientists give to large thunderstorms with winds already in rotation. About one in a thousand thunderstorms becomes a supercell, and one in five or six supercells creates a tornado. When your area is expecting severe weather you should begin listening to the local weather station so you can stay informed, and safe. A good weather radio can also help alert you when it is the middle of the night. There are also many weather apps for your smartphone which can do the same. The first type of warning you may have in your area is called a tornado watch. This means that the weather conditions are such where tornado can form. The second type is called a tornado warning. This means that either a tornado has been spotted on the ground by someone, such as a storm chaser or first responder, or by weather radar, also called Doppler, that is indicated there definitely is rotation occurring within the storm itself. Where is the safest place to be? If you hear a siren during a thunderstorm that means that there is a tornado warning. So, take shelter fast. The best places to ride out a tornado are cellars, 
basements, and other underground locations. Head to a room with no windows on the ground or first floor of your home or structure if you are unable to reach an underground refuge. Shelter in a bathroom or closet, and if you can, wrap up in a mattress, sleeping bag, or blanket. What was the most destructive tornado in history? On March 18, 1925, a tornado that killed 695 and injured another 2,000. It happened across three different states, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, it is known as the Tri-State Tornado. The F5, the longest tornado ever, traveled 219 miles over these three states. So now you know a lot more about tornadoes and how dangerous they can be. Please stay safe during severe weather.